Hey, thanks for tuning in guys. So I have two holsters for you today, both by Bravo Concealment, and they both are designed for concealed carry. All right, first one right here, OWB. Second one right here, Pennies Carry, IWB. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. So right here is a BCA OWB by Bravo Concealment, right there. It's a nice holster for outside the waistband, concealed carry. You can see it hugs the body nice and tight. Nice sweat guard right here, outside the waistband. And then right here is a IWB Torsion. Both of these are for the Smith & Wesson 2.0 Compact. And you can see both conceal very well. But this one right here is the one that's real special. This one right here, the torsion, actually is designed to have a 10% cant inward. But that design, what that design allows you to do is actually have the butt kind of inward, like so. Normally, you might have a hole that kind of sticks the butt out just a tad. When you put your shirt down, you can kind of simulate when you press it. You can see it would actually stick out quite a bit. With the torsion, it allows it to go inward about 10% keeps it a little closer to the body so there you go all right let's go ahead take a look inside at these two and uh show you guys a little more details and what i think overall so let's talk about these holsters a little more up close a little more detail this is their standard owb they call the bca outside the waistband it does ship with these basic loops right here for your belt uh, but you can buy these separate wing loops right here to help really bring this closer to the body as you saw earlier Nice fit, custom fit to whatever firearm you order off the site. Good retention, no problems there. No safety mechanisms or anything like that. It's all about the fitment of the Kydex. That's the only kind of retention you're gonna get with this. There you go, no screws or anything like that to tighten it down. Has a nice spot for a threaded barrel, which is good. I do plan to do that. All right, and then you have the inside the waistband torsion. All right, so the torsion right here, you can see, same thing, custom fit, clicks into place. But what's different about this one is, this one is a 10% cant forward, all right? Typical with your outside the waistband. This one, straight up and down for the most part. You can see that right there. However, this one is a 10% cant inward so you can see the different design with this to help out is when the belt runs through the loops here it actually is designed to cant inward which helps bring one of the worst parts of concealed carrying with appendix carry or inside the waistband is the bottom part here of the grip it tends to stick out and your shirt will come over here and you'll see kind of a small print and that's no matter what you really wear unless you're wearing a heavy coat or something like that. What this torsion allows you to do and it's very unique in this aspect is that actually the whole holster is torqued inward about 10%. You can see that so as the belt rides over the top this is designed to twist inward slightly which is a good way to help conceal as you saw earlier. Uh, the belt clips here, simple plastic clips like that, quick, easy to use. Uh, again, there is no way to tighten this down. It's all about the Kydex, uh, Kydex custom fit. There you go. They do make other products as well that I've been using for a while. Uh, you got their AR Mag carrier. Here's a good example of uh, the regular loops that come with it. So you can kind of see, this is actually better designed. You could do conceal carry. All this is designed for conceal carry. This is better for almost like a range use with these kind of loops. Kind of sticks off the body just a little bit, which gives you some more clearance to grab these mags. This is a really nice tight fit. These are really designed around Magpul. You can even see kind of the imprints when they design these, but 
That is a solid, solid print. Ain't going nowhere. Good retention. I do love those, use that all the time. And same with the double, double mag carrier. Now the mag carriers are a little more customizable. I even had an extra loop here. I did this that way on my, uh, when I run this on the other side, I had this so it actually kind of pulls in a little bit, um, but works really well. This one is actually for a Beretta 92FS magazine, but you can see they fit the compact just fine. There is no tabs or anything like that for the uh, magazine release cut there. So it's not like it's gonna stick in there real tight, similar to the AR. However, it sticks in pretty well, no issues there. All right, right now, concealed carry ammo is, I believe, the SIG V-Crown right there. Although I did pick up recently some Federal HST. I'm gonna be testing this out, kind of see how she does. Wanna make sure it runs. But the V-Crown works great with the compact so far. No issues, no jams or anything like that. Haven't really done any kind of ballistic testing, but works great. Good concealed carry ammo. So then that's it guys. Uh, the only thing else I would mention would actually be the outside the waistband and the inside the waistband versions of both of these here do have an option for light bearing. All right, now being kind of new to the market, they don't have an option for one of my favorites, the Olight PL Mini. Hopefully they get one in soon, but right now they have a few different options for lights. Uh, it's a little more, but the claim of fame for these guys is not only the quality. I've been using these guys for a couple of years now, but the fact that they have a good variety for a good price, you can get either one of these for under 50 bucks with free shipping and a lot of times they're even lower than that on sale. Now if you get the light bearing, you're going up with just a little bit more. However, that's really great considering the fact that a lot of competitors are twice the price sometimes. So that's actually a great value and it's why I keep going back to these guys. Uh, they switch out different models all the time so you'll do different kind of lights, different kind of handguns on there. But overall quality is excellent and I do recommend them. So. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hey, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know below if you have any questions or comments. I'll be happy to answer them, and I'll see you in the next review.